So recently I posted a video on a study purported to show that nicotinamide riboside, a popular NAD booster anti-aging supplement, increased the risk of cancer. In that video, I also reviewed a press release that came out published by the University of Missouri. I've since found out that the University of Missouri's press release on this has changed. The original press release, which came out on November 14th, 2022, reads as follows. Popular dietary supplement increases breast cancer risk and brain metastasis. Now, the revised press release, which came out on November 18th, 2022, reads like this. New imaging technique in animal study gives insight to popular supplements potential role in cancer progression. So much tamer title of this new press release. What's interesting is that if you go to the original URL of the original press release, which came out on November 14th, you can't find the original press release. It actually redirects you to the newer version, which came out on November 18th. In fact, the URL of the original press release no longer exists. If you put that into a search engine, it actually takes you to a different URL. So what's the difference between the new version and the old version of this press release, which purports to show that nicotinamide riboside increases cancer? Well, as far as I can tell, there are a couple statements that have been removed from the new version. One of those statements reads like this, nicotinamide riboside results in a significant increase in cancer prevalence and the metastasis of triple negative breast cancer to brain cells. The next statement is also removed from the new version of the press release and it reads like this, once the cancer reaches the brain, the results are deadly because no viable treatment options exist. Those statements are not found in the November 18th version of that press release. So what is going on here? Is this the work of a conspiracy theory to hide the facts from the public? Or was the original November 14th press release simply the result of a clickbait title to get greater attention to that article? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bottom line here, for all the attention that this November 14th press release got, Let's remember that it was a mouse study, and no matter how popular mouse studies are in research, we are not mice. The investigation that this press release refers to was one in which a new technique was developed to see the absorption of nicotinamide riboside by cells. I would like to see this new technique replicated in humans to see if the same thing happens in humans who take nicotinamide riboside dietary supplements. Another thing I'd point out is that in this uh, original study, they was a mouse study where they gave them quite a lot of nicotinamide riboside. For example, if you weighed 200 pounds, you'd be ingesting almost 3,000 milligrams of nicotinamide riboside. That's a lot more than the average person is consuming who's taking nicotinamide riboside supplements. So I'll link to my original video on this so you can check it out and learn more, but you tell me, is this going to stop you from taking nicotinamide riboside dietary supplements or NMN or other NAD booster supplements? Let me know in the comments below.